Five, right here. Four, three, two, one, hit. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Live Art Mini from Inside Out Studio. I'm Stephen Hith Smith here with Jody Mann and Dwayne Sparks. We're kicking off art outside for the month of June on this lovely rainy day. So we're painting the uh, windows here at Inside Out Studio. Jody, anyone you want to say hi to out there? Hi to everybody. My mom, my dad, both my brothers, my niece, nephew, all my aunts and uncles, my girlfriend, my dog, Zay, my brothers, and my sister, all the Scott and Jess, Barry and Jerry, Chris and Michelle's dogs, still amazing, Barry. Hi, guys. Where we say hi to just the whole family. Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne, how about you? Who do you want to say hi to today? My friend. Your friends? All right. And we're also here with Kara Bergdorf and Christina Haynes. Ladies, what are we painting on the windows today? Flowers! Flowers! All this rain, all this rain is making our garden grow on the front windows of Inside Out. So we're going to be demonstrating some window painting, giving you some tips of painting on glass, and also you get to see me. all these awesome artists putting their artwork on the front windows here. I'm going to switch over to the other camera. So Kara and Christina, if you want to go keep working on... I want to say Michelle Miller. Hello, Michelle Miller. So Christina and Kara are also working on the other side of our windows, which we can show you here. So trying something new, getting outside. We attempted this last year when we were painting the fire hydrant over at Joyce Park, but I think we're making it work this time and we also want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to Sherry Armstead and everyone at Symmetry Boutique Yay! and Gallery Yay! over in Fairfield, Ohio. They're on Sims Road. They've got some awesome one-of-a-kind artwork there so if you're looking for gifts, looking for something for the home, go check that out. There are kindred spirits over in Fairfield. Thank you once again to Sherry Armstead. So let's switch back. We've got Kara making some awesome flowers at the far end here. And then we're just going to take a minute and visit with the artists one-on-one -on -one so you get to know them a little bit better. Christina, how about we start with you? You want to come on over here? Okay. So this is Christina Haynes. And Christina, how long have you been coming to Inside Out Studio? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Okay. I think it's been a while. Maybe like a year and a half, two years. Something like that, yeah. What's your favorite thing about coming to the art studio? Um, doing artwork. And selling it. Awesome. Very good. Do you like my microphone? Yes. All right. We've got the first ever paintbrush microphone that I know of. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And we also... Hold on, Jody. We're talking to Christina right now. If you want to keep picking some flowers, maybe on the far end down there, that'd be great. We're going to be talking about spreading around the different colors, spreading around the different styles just for some unity. And then, Christina, there's something interesting that you wanted to share with everyone, one of your favorite hobbies, which is? Horseback riding. And where do you where do you go horseback riding? Whitwoods. Awesome. How long have you been doing that? I don't know. I've been riding it. I don't really know. All right. I've never been horseback riding. My wife always tries to get me out to do it, so maybe someday I will. Yeah, you should. It's fun. All right. Thank you very much. All right, ladies, we're going to get some painting done. So what we've been talking about is since we have three artists, Kara, Christina, and Jody are painting today, our plan was to mix and match where the flowers go. That way there's a variety of different styles of flowers going around different panels of our window. So Jody started with a yellow one right behind us here. Christina added a purple one, and she's got another purple one down there. So Jody, it would be a great idea if you added another one of your flowers down at the far side. That way you can mix and match all these styles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch off the mic just to watch our artist paint for a little bit. I know it's very noisy, noisy with all the traffic going by on these rainy streets. So we're just going to go in and out, enjoying our artist painting as well as giving you some tips. First tip would be if you've got multiple styles, make sure you mix and match and spread it around. That way there's not just one type of flower on this end, one type of flower on the other end. It all mixes together in a nice grouping. Just right. do multiple painting. Say that again, we had a loud car go by. Do multiple painting. All right, let's get some paint on the wall. Yeah.
All right, I'm going to jump back on the mic here to talk about what we just discussed when we're painting. First of all, is we want to paint large scale because what we're considering is uh, a lot of viewers are going to be in their cars driving by about 25 miles an hour. So we talk with the artists about how we want big pictures that are very visible up on that window so you can see. And the other thing is the craftsmanship doesn't have to be as exact as if we we're working on the canvas. There is going to be some transparent layer on the glass, but from a distance you can still see it really clear from that street view. And we've got Mama Neil watching out there, our number one volunteer of the year here at Inside Out Studio. And also Kathleen is watching. Glad that you're tuning in all the time and can't wait to see you make some more fabric work in the studio. So just to reiterate too, our ladies picked their favorite colors of orange, purple, pink, and yellow. And just like we're spreading around the different artist style up and down the window banks here at the studio, we're also spreading around the different colors. So there's not just one window full of yellows, one window full of purple. A little bit of variety to make your eye dance up and down our windows here. All right, while Kara's taking a break after her orange flower, I thought it'd be a good time for everyone to get to know her out there. So Kara, you're on this camera live right now. Hello. Anyone you want to say hi to? My mom. All right, hello mom. And then Kara, you want to step over this way? He said, we're sharing some things, interesting things about our artists, the hobbies, their lives. And what did you want to share today, Kara? I love to make clip art. I mean, actually, I do. I have three brothers and one kitty cat. All right. And if you know Kara's artwork, you know that she loves cats. And I just asked her, you have a cat at home, correct? Yes, I do. What's your cat's name and what kind of cat is it? She's a Norwegian forest cat and her name is Maggie. Awesome. So hello, Maggie, if she's watching out there. If you could have as many cats as you want, how many would you have? I would love to have 15 cats. 15 cats. That sounds like a handful. All right, so we talked about, we've got some pinks, we've got some purples. We haven't put any yellow up on the wall yet. So we grab some yellow and put a flower there. On that side, I mean, Jody's got a yellow flower behind us, but we're talking about adding some yellow off to the far side. Would you like to tackle that job, Kara? Yes, I would, stink bug. All right, sounds good. Let's grab some paint and keep going.
I'm Sherry, I'm here with Debbie at Symmetry, and I just wanted to take a minute to say how happy I am to sponsor an organization that provides an opportunity in studio environment for artists with disabilities to produce, market, exhibit, and sell their work and receive an income. Fantastic, and we here at Symmetry invite you to come shop with us and visit us at our store at 1000 Sims Road. Mention that you've watched this live today and you'll receive 10% off your next purchase. I look forward to seeing you. See you soon. Hi, Miss Megan. We were just informed that we did not have our audio on for that last one. I'm going to have to bend down here. Our rain's coming in a little bit heavier than expected under the awning. But just wanted to review with you. Jody, what's special about your, your skill set and what you've been doing with Best Buddies? Uh, probably speaking, talking about Best Buddies, and... And what was your role with Best Buddies? Uh... Is it ambassador? Yes, ambassador for Best Buddies. That's right. Jody speaks on behalf of Best Buddies. She's part of the local Miami Oxford group, but has also traveled up to Columbus to speak on behalf of Best Buddies and advocate for individuals with disabilities. So we're going to jump back here to our shot of the ladies working on the flowers on the far side of the wall. So Christina's been adding in some stems. So we're adding some greens to the bottom. So you got some stems and we're going to make that grass grow to finish off our garden today. It's also cold and raining. It is raining. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Hi out there and it's raining really hard. All right, let's keep going. All right, jumping back on, just give you some tips. If you ever want to paint windows yourself, let's say you've got a project at a local business, or if you've got some high school students volunteering, painting the windows at school, what we're using is acrylic paint, which is easy to come off. So it goes on nice and smooth, but another option is also tempera paint. 
But like we said, since it's going to be from a street view, you can do a transparent layer. It doesn't have to be super solid and thick. And then when we're taking the paint off at the end of whatever project or our projects or whatever you're working on, you would just spray it down with some water. Just get that paint a little bit wet and you can take it off with a razor blade scraper. It comes off fairly easily. And once again, that's just standard acrylic paint that we're using here. But you can also get some tempera paint, which is really easy to find at various stores. And then as we talked about our principles of designs, kind of unity and variety, we've got the same colors being spread up and down the window, but we're kind of mixing and matching. We've got the center of the flowers that also match petals of other flowers. And then Miss Kara Bergdorf is going around putting the grass into the scene here at the bottom. Oh, she would like to describe it for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> We've got pink, yellow, purple, pink, yellow, purple, orange, pink, and purple, and pink yeah. down there. That's right. It's kind of like a loose pattern. We're repeating the colors up and down the window, but it's not a strict pattern. Am it's I a nice variety. I am just adding some grass to the scene. And we always like to use what we call two-tone here. So instead of just one pink, there's two different types of pinks, two different types of purples, two different types of greens. And there's one two type of types of, of two. And two, yellow. Two types of... We don't have any red. Well, we didn't use any really deep colors or bold tones. We kept it to the pastels and spring colors. That's okay. Yeah. We also got some orange. Somewhere. It looks really cute. Yeah. I agree. It certainly does. You good? It looks really cute out here, Facebook world. All right. Thank you, Kara and Jody. Let's see what we need to do to put some finishing touches on our window. All right, we're here with our special supervisor, Dwayne Sparks, has been overseeing everything. Dwayne, say don't lean back against the window there. You've got some wet paint right behind you. We're going to crouch down. We're trying to hide from the rain coming over the overhang. So visiting with all the artists today, Dwayne, do you want to tell us something special that you do? Run track. You run track. And what group is that with? That's the Wizard. The Special Olympics program. So I know that you've had a break because of COVID. You haven't been able to do Special Olympics. So no. when's that start up again? I don't know. I think maybe next year they'll start it? Yeah. Okay. What are your other sports that you like to do? Bocce ball. Bocce ball. And are you starting up at the Miracle League Fields this week? Yeah. All right. What's your favorite thing to do there? Softball. Softball. All right. Thank you, Dwayne. Dwayne's our special supervisor for the day. I know that mom's out there watching. You want to say hi to mom? Hi, mommy. All right. Thanks for joining in, everyone. We're going to take a break and go back to the window here and see how things are going. Miss Kara wants to come. You want to add something to that, Kara? Not right now, stink bug. All right. She is hard at work putting in the grass and putting in those colors.
Alright, what else do we need? I think maybe some green. All right, going to hop back on the audio here as we close out our day. Once again, thank you to Symmetry Gallery and Sherry Armstead for being our season sponsor for Live Art Mini. Carrie's putting the finishing touches on this little nice Jody Man yellow flower with your pink center. Please click like and subscribe. Please click like and subscribe. That's right. So lots of things coming up here. We've got our online store where people can always go and shop and buy the awesome artwork by you guys and support you. We've also got our store hours, our Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's correct, Stink Bug Steven. All right, thank you very much. Hey, you know what we're doing this Saturday? What? We're going to have a booth at the Hamilton Pride Festival down at Markham Park. Oh, cool. Yep, they got a festival going on down there in support of Hamilton Pride, as well as a concert down at River's Edge Amphitheater where we had Shift. So we've got lots of awesome new artwork that our artists have been making in support of Hamilton Pride. So come check that out. Christina, any parting words for everyone watching today? Come on in, come on in. Okay. Um, what do you mean? What would you, we're about to end our show today. Anything that you want to say bye or last thoughts for anybody out there? That I'm Steven's biggest fan. You're my biggest fan? Yeah. Well, I'm your biggest fan. Yeah. And I hope everyone heard that because there's a loud truck that just drove by. So. Yeah, I don't like my noises. <laughs> yeah, me either. So thanks for joining us on our first Getting Outside Making Art for June Live Art Mini. Join us next Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And we're going to be doing something else adventurous. So thank you again. Thanks for supporting the studio and have a great week.